Well, hey everybody. Um, what we have here today is this project we just built. It's a deep nuke box and we built it with butt joints so there's no, no dado cuts needed. And for the frame rest, um, we also use the single blade. Uh, so this, this box, um, not counting the tools, which are already paid for long ago, this box cost me $3 to, to build. Uh, you can still see the, the price stickers on it. Um, I, I bought the lumber used from Habitat for Humanity Restore. If there's one near you, I'd recommend checking that out. Um, but this is just a simple how-to video um, for people that may not have a dado blade or even table saw on how you can make your own equipment and save a lot of money. So let's get started. Okay, the first um, cut we'll make is to cut it to 19 and 7 eighths, and then we'll cut the off cut piece to 7 and 5 and 8, 7 and 5 eighths. Um, cross cut sled's really handy for this. They're already cut, I already ripped them to 9 and 5 eighths width. My chop saw is not big enough to cut that, so. Uh, Using the sled on my table saw is a good way to do it. Okay, your next step is to gonna cut out the rabbit on your end pieces, which are your narrow ones. So you wanna be five eighths down and three eighths in. So I've got the fence back out and um, I have it set so the top of the blade is 3 8 inch high and I set the fence, because this is a deep, I set the fence of 9 inches from the inside edge of the blade. So 9 and 5 eighths, obviously minus 5 eighths is 9. So what we'll do on this is uh, we'll run it through, both ends through, and get that initial cut on both pieces. And then we'll just keep moving the fence away and we'll use the single blade as a as a dado to nibble it. Um, this is if you don't have a dado blade. If you have a dado blade and you want to put it on, great. For this I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, and this is what you end up with right off the saw. A few shavy pieces. If you take your time and and, and really get fine, you won't have these. Um, they don't bother me. Uh, if they bother you, you could take a chisel or even some, some sandpaper and knock down the ridges. But uh, always remember, this is for bees. The first bee that complains about these is getting thrown out. All right. So now what we'll do is we will pre-drill just a few into the uh, end here. And then we're ready to assemble. I won't be using any glue, um, partly because I, I don't think it needs it. Uh, secondarily, this board is all stained and, and lacquered, and this board is painted. Um, so you have fresh edge here and here, but it would be gluing into lacquered or painted. We're not gonna sweat, sweat it. We're just gonna glue, drill some holes and, and zip it together. Now it's time to thread them together, and these are the screws I'm using. I can't tell you if they're good for beehives or not, but I can tell you that that's what I had the most of. Um, <clears throat> discovered today, building a different project, that I was out of regular wood screws. So I went scrounging in my bin, and that's what I found. 
and so that's what we use. So let that be kind of a, a comfort for you. You don't have to have exactly this or exactly that. Um, use what you got, it'll work. There's very few things that absolutely won't work. These might not be the ideal screws. They might not have, you know, a head that, that dives in. But I promise they'll last as long as this box does. This box is far more likely to get broken or the weather take it or lost, that is, that these screws won't hold. And if you don't have screws, nails would work too. Just do your best. Forget the rest. Try to get it square. Try to get it straight. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Building a beehive, not a house. We have it assembled and, and we checked it for square. Uh, last part, I cut these handles. Uh, these handles are nine and one eighths inches. They don't have to be. Just enough to let you get a hold of the, the box. And I like to put them on the um, short sides. You do whatever you want. Um, found these screws in the bin. And these are what I use to fix the handles on to the, to the nuke box. So we'll just put them on three inches down and because that's where I like them. They don't get in the way of anything and that, that's a good span for my hands. And then we we'll screw them on there, uh, pre-drill them, screw them on there, and then it's ready to get painted. Um, that was one of the cool things was this, this wood was already pre-painted or, or stained as the case was. So. Nothing wrong with buying all your own equipment. Um, if, if you don't have the tools, part of why I wanted to show you in this video was, you know, I just did this with a, a table saw and uh, a, uh, a single blade, you know, so you don't need that dado blade. Honestly, all these cuts could have been made with a handheld circular saw. If that's what you got, start where you're at, uh, including the dado. You know, you could have made that rabbit by hand. Um, don't let <clears throat> that stop you from from getting started making your own equipment again nothing wrong with buying all your own stuff if that's what you got um, but this box not counting the screws and everything that I had laying here and of course the table saw it's years and years old so don't factor that into the cost this was a three dollar box it's a deep box um, between scraps and, and habitat for humanity restore stuff it's a $3 box and it'll work for years. And uh, the bees won't know the difference between this box you built for $3 or the one that you bought from a supplier for however much they cost. So um, hope this gives you a little bit of confidence. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. There's a button in the bottom right hand corner, which I think is this one. If you click that for a subscription, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, leave me a comment or a question and have a good day.